Hi, I'm Rich Bowers, your Columbus Life on Video Examiner. There's been a long tradition of connections between politicians and show business people. There's Sonny Bono, Fred Grandy, that guy from Love Boat, Fred Thompson, who moved from acting to politics and then back again, and of course Ronald Reagan, who famously leveraged his show business career into the presidency. One little remembered incident happened in the mid-80s when Clint Eastwood was elected mayor of Carmel, California. Well, we may be seeing something similar but very unique here in Bexley, a suburb of Columbus. We may be seeing a political career and a movie career develop at the same time. Well, I'm here with Travis Irvine and Colin Chenamblo, and uh, you guys are just back from... Cannes, France, at the Cannes Film Festival. And you were at the Cannes Film Festival because... We were at the Cannes Film Festival uh, because our short film, American Mayor, a documentary uh, that we made about me running for mayor of Bexley here three years ago, uh, was in a program. It wasn't in the festival, it was in a program called the Short Film Corner, which has 1,700 short films from all over the world. Uh, and they bring them all there and they bring all the filmmakers there, if the filmmakers can afford it. Um, and it was really, it was very good. Uh, as far as I know, we were the only movie out of the 1,700 movies that had the word American in the title. So uh, we had a screening that went really well. Uh, we met a lot of great people, a lot of great filmmakers, and um, had, it was a very good experience, very good. And just to talk briefly about uh, 2007, mm -hmm. uh, what came first? That you wanted to do a documentary or that you wanted to run for mayor? Well, the first thing came uh, when we, we were trying to make a movie in the Bahamas, actually. And uh, people liked the idea, but then they hated the script. So I moved back home kind of defeated, and I saw that uh, Mayor Madison, David Madison, who's mayor of Bexley for 32 years, uh, he wasn't running. And already two people had popped up to run for mayor. And for me, it seemed like a good opportunity. I have a lot of neighbors who are very upset with City Hall over some uh, some development that they were doing. They're rezoning the city on behalf of Capital University, and uh, so I, I figured, okay, maybe this is my uh, chance to kind of voice their concerns and run for mayor. And then I came to these guys. It's like, well, you know, we're being being filmmakers. I think it'd be silly for us not to make a movie about it. Um, and you know, the whole point would be to kind of open up the process. It would be like a how-to film. Um, so it was really politics first, then the filmmaking. Yeah, and it, it always is. I, and I feel like that's going to be a challenge this year, with the whole Congress thing, uh, campaign, trying to make a documentary about that. I feel a lot of people will come out and say, oh, he's just doing it for the documentary. And you, it's, it's impossible. You, you have to... Uh, you have to be genuinely concerned in some way to even begin this process. If I was really just interested in promoting myself, I'd go try to make more fart comedies, which I do have some in there. <laughs> well, documentaries are a different beast. I mean, really, you know, just right now we've got two guys with cameras here. Um, and so as long as you have cameras and microphones, you can make a documentary. Um, the story just develops as yeah. time goes on. And yeah, yeah. you don't necessarily always know what you have until you're in the editing room. First round we made a 10 minute version for a contest. Uh, we didn't win the contest. Then we made a 76 minute version as like a feature. We sent that out to film festivals and nobody, nobody took it. And, um, and then so we brought it down to 40 minutes for a short, which is you know, the longest a short film can be. And uh, now, now we're doing okay. The, the version's very good. We got a lot of good responses that can. And Everyone liked the idea of Travis running for mayor, but they're really impressed that he was now running for U.S. Congress. So it built kind of a, a reputation there of, that's the guy who's running for Congress, you know? Yeah. Since the mayoral election, Travis won the May primary as the Libertarian candidate for the 12th district in the House of Representatives. He again wants to record the campaign. You know, half the time we were we were pitching the movie, the documentary about running for Congress, but then the majority of time was spent telling him about my campaign, you know, like the political party I'm with, the, the Libertarian Party, and what they stand for, and what young people are looking for in this country, and how everyone's kind of let down from 2008 when we were promised 
hope and change, and it seems like we get that every two to four years, and then it's, it's, you know it's just more Republicans. The same. Yeah, Republicans or Democrats are just more of the same. So it was it was interesting having political conversations with these Hollywood uh, movie industry types, and, and kind of you know uh, getting to understand what we were trying to do. It's interesting to see also people from other countries being interested in American politics. Yeah, very much. Here we are. It's uh, the end of May. It's Memorial Day, actually. Yeah, Memorial Day. Um, Happy Memorial Day. Yeah, thank you. And uh, we have, what, five months? Five months or so to the, to the election. Yeah. So what's your plan here in terms of both managing a campaign and managing a, a documentary production operation? One day at a time. Is the main. Um, we're trying to get the website done in terms of campaign. The next three months will be devoted to fundraising, uh, developing our. We're trying to do a 10 week tour before Election Day to each of the major cities in uh, the, the 12th Congressional District. So this is going to be like a grassroots, you know, very grassroots. Just go to a town, flyer it, hold a town hall, hold a comedy show, hold a screening of American Mayor, um, and just try to get out the message. Um, but the, the next three months, June, July, August, is really going to be fundraising for that effort, and then as well looking for the funding for the documentary. Do you still have this how-to idea? Oh yeah, that, that always plays a role. Um, I think what happens though is the story ends up taking over. I know with American Mayor, we, did, we can only do it how-to so much. Um, after a while, you know, it's more just the story took over where very quickly I, I realized, okay, I've got to cut my hair, I've got to learn what I'm talking about. So you kind of have this character arc instead of the how-to, but, you know, as I go, you know, it shows you how to do it. So is show business spawning another political powerhouse? Or is politics creating a new force in documentary filmmaking? It's a long campaign until the election in November 2010. There will be cameras present.